we are back. We're back with a Q&A, man. This is a Q&A about very important information that you guys need to know. We're going to try to get to it. Hopefully it starts up. I see. Let's go down to the casino. We're going to make our way down to the casino and then we're going to try to see if we can win like the podium car and also go to the face paint. We're going to go down to the barbershop because a lot of people keep asking questions and we're going to try to keep this under 10 minutes. We're not going to try to we're going to try not to go past 10 minutes. So we're going to answer a lot of questions so a lot of people don't cuz I know so many people are confused about a lot of stuff, man. So What's up Charlie? How's it going, buddy? We're gonna go spin the wheel really quickly. And then we're gonna make our way over there. Let's spin the wheel really quickly. Let's spin this wheel, see if we get lucky. Probably won't get lucky, but we'll see. We got a mystery item. Mystery unlock, resupply the weed farm. <laughs> resupply the weed farm? I don't want that. <laughs> I do not want that. Hold on, man. Let me go get my car. What's up, Flacco? All right, so we're going to go down to the barber shop, guys. We're going to answer a lot of questions, man. A lot of questions. Well, the most important questions, that is. We're going to do that. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> Alright, where's my vehicle? Let me call for a car. We gotta get over there. Let me call a mechanic, and we're gonna go down there. I don't have it yet, bro. I don't have siege yet. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> I got so much crap, bro so much crap you know we'll just call that oh my vehicle's nearby never mind I got a vehicle here already never mind I got a car here all right so we're gonna go down to the the mass shop yo be sure to smash that like button if you guys haven't already man it helps me out a ton we're going to the barber shop we're going down to the barber shop man what's up Cass going down all right so we're here so you bought all the face paints all right man everybody should know that Halloween items are in game right now everybody should know that I think we all know that right now right you know we was live this morning be sure to smash that like button if you haven't already guys it helps me out a ton remember everything I do is all to help you guys everything I do is to help you guys and make you guys understand stuff a little bit better so you don't get confused about Halloween face paints because I know a lot of people keep asking the same question so now the most asked question that people keep asking me is yo if I buy the Halloween face paints how do I save them alright so let's get the save thing out the way first right so all you gotta do is just come down to the barbershop see this little nice lady in the background she's around the map I don't understand why Rockstar made the same avatar for like every barbershop she's like the most richest person in the world so the thing about the Halloween face paints they're seasonal they're seasonal paints they're rare items now how to save them all you gotta do is get in the chair once you get in the chair you wanna buy them all you can buy them all you can buy four of them you can buy five you can buy eight it does not matter once you buy one just imagine that I bought five right now, right? So I'm just going to equip. I'm going to take off my Wicked Skull. I'm going to put on Menace. Let's put that on, right? So we're going to put that on. Pretend I bought five. Pretend I bought five. Now when she hooked me up, make me look all fancy and nice, I'm going to basically hit circle, get out of the chair, and I'm going to open up my interaction menu. So once I get the little animation to do it, I'm going to open it up. Open up interaction menu, go to outfits, and I'm going to just swap my outfit. I'm just going to swap my outfit and close it, and I'm going to look at the bottom right corner, and I'm going to wait for the orange icon to pop up in the bottom right. See that little orange circle that just pop up? That is a game save circle. So that little icon right there is a game save circle. 
that's how you guaranteed save the, the Halloween face paints if you guys are scared and worried about losing them alright that's how you save that that's how you save face paints that's a guaranteed save now do you have to do that no you don't have to do that you can get in the chair and buy every face paint and then get out of the chair and then swap your outfit and do that or you don't even have to swap your outfit but you need to make sure you buy all the face paints at least once you need to make sure you buy them at least once okay by you buying the face paints all of the face paints that saves those face paints into the barbershop inventory which means that they will remain here all year round now whatever you buy you keep whatever you do not buy you will not keep I'm gonna stress that whatever you do not buy Rockstar will remove from the barbershop which means that she will no longer have Halloween face paints at her shop anymore the only Halloween face paints that she will have in her inventory are the ones that you purchase only that's how that works now I'm going to explain this a little bit more to you guys now this is something else a lot of you guys ask me yo why do I have to always buy face paints when I come to the barbershop why do I always have to repay her again to put a, a face paint back on I'm going to explain that to you now these are seasonal face paints seasonal which means that these are only temporary she only sells these face paints around Halloween so once the Halloween update is over they're gone nothing changes about face paints in game you guys have always equipped always had to come to the barbershop and pay to put on face paints let me explain this to you guys a little bit more these right here these are face paints you see these face paints these face paints have been in the game since 2013 every time you came down to the barbershop you had to pay for these these face paints are here all year round the Halloween face paints are not nothing changes you still will have to buy them no matter what there is no check mark that says that you own them you just come down here the nice lady in the background she'll do your makeup make you look like the fancy tryhard that you always want to be in GTA online but you still have to pay her for her services this is not your own personal personal shop don't do not consider this like the mass shop I know it's stupid you go down to the mass shop you get the face paints at the mass shop shout out to potato for the donut thank you potato you go to the mass shop you buy a mat, couple of masks and it gives you the, the check symbol the basically the backwards Nike check and now you own the mask it's completely different at the barbershop it's not like that just like the 4th of July face paint it's not the 4th of July but I still own this face paint as you guys can see this face paint will forever be mine because I bought it so every time I come down here to the barbershop the nice lady in the background is gonna hook me up with my face paint so make sure you buy every one yes you will always have to constantly purchase it so make sure you got money in your bank account if you're broke you can't play dress up that's how that works so now is there anything else that anybody needs to know when it comes to Halloween face paints now that we got that out of the way now that we got that out of the way does there anything else I need to know AD, Azino, go to the beginning of the broadcast, bro. I just explained it. Is there anything else that anybody needs to know? So to save it, you need to buy it. Yes. To save Halloween face paints, you need to buy them. Every last one. I know most of you guys are looking at them like, ah, oh, I don't like that. You may not like it now the way they look look I don't like this one I never like menace I never like menace but I bought it you know bone jaw all these face paints some of them I just did not like but you know what I'm gonna buy them because they're seasonal and they're rare now another question that a lot of you guys ask me if I already bought the Halloween face paints last year do I got to rebuy them again this year no you don't because you already owned them last year so what you need to do the ones that you did not buy last year come in the face paint come in the barbershop and buy the ones that you did not buy last year like these at the bottom I'm pretty sure majority of you guys did not buy these at the bottom this is the cheap face paint right here this is the broke man face paint so if you don't have any money on GTA this is the starter kit face paint this is the start off you'll get that one and then you'll go play all the double money in RP modes and then you'll come back to the barbershop and you'll start to get all the try hard ones so that's how that works what's up Charlie what are you confused about Charlie
they will cost you they will cost you every time you come down to the barbershop you will have to pay the nice lady to put on a Halloween face paint even after the Halloween DLC is over you still will have to pay her to put on a face paint no matter what all year round if you want to be Halloween all year round you need to make sure you buy these face paints and every time you come down to the barbershop you're going to have to pay the nice lady to put on a different Halloween face paint every single time I know it's stupid but you do not own this barbershop she does and that's how Rockstar has it set up it's stupid I missed again in my job <laughs> what's up Eric how's it going you donated oh demon man I gotta really turn that on bro I got the notes turned off I'm sorry demon I'm so sorry demon it doesn't pop up for me on my arm um, cuz it's like on the business PayPal bro so let me open that up let me open this up for you hold on buddy let me do that right now bro let me sign in here I hate that it's not popping up I need to figure out why it's not popping up yo <laughs> Yo, thank you, buddy. Thank you. Demon, thank you. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Shout out to Demon for the dono, man. He donated to the PayPal. Thank you. Alright. More questions. So, it's weird, man. Sometimes it pops up, Demon. Sometimes it doesn't. The mullet is sexy. Yes, for the mullet. The mullet can only be purchased around... A lot of people keep asking me this about Halloween, man. This is not related towards Halloween. This hairstyle is not related towards Halloween. It is part of the Independence Day. The Independence Day pack, which means that the 4th of July DLC that we get, the festive update that we get for the 4th of July, that's the only time you can purchase the mullet. This is the only time you can get this particular hairstyle. I still own it. I'm going to show you guys. If I swap my hairstyle, I'm going to have to buy it again same thing it's it's just like the face paints now I got on the hipster hairstyle now if I want to put back on the mullet I got to pay for it again as you guys can see the same thing goes for the Halloween face paints I own it but I still have to pay her to do my hair I know it's weird that out of nowhere I went from a hipster cut to a full-grown mullet it's weird I get it it's rockstar but that's how that works same thing for face paints so buy all the face paints and then change your fit to save them yes if you are afraid of losing your face paints if you are afraid of losing them all you gotta do is this bro go to face paints we're gonna buy a couple I already own these but we're gonna just buy them so we're just gonna just scroll through it might take a little time I get that most of you guys are impatient I understand but you know what if you want to make sure they stick just buy a few I know it takes some time bro it's stupid you gotta get in this chair now I gotta put on the evil butt face you know I get it thank you for explaining how to buy and save all the face paints you're welcome Ace so you're welcome now I'm gonna put on danger skull I hate this one bro how long does the update last the update should be in the game from today all the way into November 8th hopefully November 8th that's just uh, a hypothetical guess right there so hopefully November 8th don't quote me on that hopefully alright so now what we're gonna do is this we're going to back out we're gonna get out of the chair once again get out of the chair brother I hope you guys are following me get out of the chair open up your interaction menu go to styles swap your outfit close the interaction menu look at the bottom left bottom right corner and wait for the save icon to pop up there's the orange circle that is a game save right there now we saved it that's all you do that's all you do that's how you save the outfits the Halloween face paints for sure what mask is that? That's one of the doomsday masks, buddy. That's one of the doomsday masks. I have to go down to the clothing store to show you that if you guys want to see that. So, show my SWAT looking outfit. <laughs> I'll go down to the clothing store and show you guys that. Yo, so do we have to buy all the face paints to save them? Oh, can we buy five and save them? Yes. You can buy five at a time or you can buy all of them. This little method that I'm showing you guys, this little trick here is basically for those of you guys that are worried about losing your face paints. That little orange circle that you see in the bottom right corner every time I swap, swap my out outfit, that is a game save circle. That saves 
your last last progression whatever you did in the game that saves that that is a game save it saves your progress within GTA Online if you guys didn't know that that circle pops up every single time no matter what you do every time you buy something in GTA or swap your outfit or or buy ammo that little circle will pop up it basically saves so that little save right there basically is counting your money that's a money save that's what that is so if that circle was never happening you'll basically never lose your money it basically says you just spent let's say 11k for crack demon right that's what that's that's what's that's what's letting rockstar know that you bought something so that's going to basically take the money out of your account and give it to the nice lady and then you won't have that 11k in your account anymore that's what that is bro that's what that's all about all right what's up bella okay so the face paint should be all the way in the game until from today until November 8th. Thank you, Bella, for um, telling them that. All right. It will come back on the 4th of July. Thank you, Dolph. That, the Halloween face paint, the mullet will come back on the 4th of July. It is part of the 4th of July, guys. That's the only time you can get it. That's the only time. Oh, crap. That's like in the way. What's up, Asin? How's it going? The, uh, the ugly lady <laughs> the nice lady man it's the nice lady so that's how you save Halloween face paints you will not lose them if you do what I told you guys to do so just follow the steps I know some people be coming in like oh you don't have to do that that's fine you do not have to you don't have to you do not have to do what I'm telling you guys to do this little trick right here is to make sure you guys save your stuff they will save if you just get in the chair and buy everything one at a time if you just want to get in the chair and buy every face paint one at a time now something else that you guys need to know I see a lot of people do this what's up Christopher I see a lot of people do this oh Halloween face paints are in game they're in game okay bet they'll do this they'll come down to the shop I'm gonna buy Joker right here they'll buy the Joker face paint or whatever face paint they like and then they'll see all the little stars all the little stars next to the other face paints that they did not check do not do this do not do this do not go scroll through the stars like that if you do that and you think that you own them no you do not own them you do not own them if you do that you have to buy them to own them if you just scroll through the stars like that just to remove the little check stars and you think that you own a face paint bro you're gonna be pissed off when the Halloween update is over so make sure you buy every last one it's important Make sure you buy every last one. All right. Why is the face paint thing so complicated? I know it's stupid. Rockstar should have gave us the little check symbol to say that we own them, but unfortunately, they want you to spend your money, and we have to pay the nice lady for her services. Unfortunately, you can't come in here and put a gun in her face and demand her to put a face paint on you. You can't do that. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way at all. Face paint's gonna be in the game until like November 8th, hopefully. What do you have to do to keep them? You buy them. <laughs> you buy them, buddy. You buy the face paint. You come down here to the shop. You tell the nice, the nice lady you got some money. You wanna get a cool little try hard face paint on. So you equipped it. Let's put this one on. You buy it. Manual, yes, they're out, buddy. Face paints are out. You buy the face paint. <laughs> just to kill her and do the paint yourself it doesn't work that way so once you buy the face paint get out of the chair get out of the chair buy a couple of them and get out of the chair open up your interaction menu open up your interaction menu go to styles swap your outfit bro wait for the orange circle to pop up in the bottom right corner we're gonna wait there's the orange icon that's the save we got it it's save it's guaranteed save we own it forever forever and ever we own it that's all you do that's all you do simple as that what's up Callie that's all you do bro and if you don't want to do that just get in the chair and just buy every last one simple as that and then go in free mode and do, live your best try hard life that's all you need to do that's all you guys need to do it's the easiest thing to do man easiest thing to do simple as that just buy them most people say, yo, just you don't have to do that. Just buy it. That's true. You don't have to do it. 
You do not have to do the little swap outfit method. You don't. You can just sit in the chair and buy every last face paint. One more thing you guys need to know. When you guys buy Halloween face paints, do not leave. Yo, do not do this. Do not swap your characters while you're sitting in this chair. Don't swap your characters while you're sitting in this chair, bro. Don't, because there's a chance that it might not save. It might not save. Do not swap characters, bro. Get out of the chair first. Get out of the chair, and then, once you get out of the chair, then swap characters. Do not swap characters while you're in the chair. Don't do that. No, it's not complicated at all. It's simple and easy, man. Simple and easy. Do you get out the chair every time you buy one? No, you do not have to get out the chair every time you buy one. You can buy like four, you can buy five, you can buy eight. You can buy all of them and then get out the chair at the last minute. Get out the chair at the last face paint and then swap your outfit. It's whatever way, however you feel comfortable with doing it. That's all it is. However you feel, whatever makes you comfortable, bro, do it whatever way you want to. I just want you guys to make sure that little orange icon pops up because that's a game save. That is a game save when that orange icon pops up. It's a game save. I played a lot of heist. <laughs> so, all right. So, if you guys got second characters, now something else somebody asked me. I've been asked this question a couple times. They said, hey, if I buy the Halloween face paints on my first character, will my second character have them too? No, your second character will not own them. Only your first character. The only thing you share between your characters is bank accounts. That's it. That's the only thing you share between your characters is a bank account. You share nothing else but a bank account. So if you do not have a second character, you want to make a second character, you should. Just transfer your stats. It's easier in this day of age of GTA. Before, in older GTA times, we would have to rank up a second character. Now, you can transfer your stats over from your primary character to your second character. So it's a lot easier. Can you transfer a fast run over from your first character to your second character? No, you can't. It doesn't work that way. Okay? I wish you guys could see the face that I'm making right now, but you can't. <laughs> you cannot transfer over fast run over to a second character, just to let you guys know that. But you can transfer over all your stats from your first character to your second character. So, from there, all you got to do now, you don't have to buy a garage, you don't have to buy a car, you don't have to get buy anything fancy on a second character. Just in case one day you might decide to play on your second character and you want to play dress up with your cool try hard Halloween face paints, just come on down to the shop because you know you already bought them and then you'll be able to hook them up. You could be like a level 1 on GT Online or level 3 or whatever rank you want to be. You can be whatever rank you want to be, bro. You can be a level 3 with Halloween face paints and everybody in the lobby. Yo, how did you get that? You're a level 3. You could be like, my mom gave it to me when I, you know, whatever you want to say. I'm not going to say that. So, I'm just letting you guys know. That's how that works. Your characters do not share anything else. They only share bank accounts. So, yes, you will have to rebuy Halloween face paints on your second character. So, I'm glad we cleared that up. We cleared that up. What if we don't swap outfits after we buy the face paints? It's fine. You don't have to. Me telling you guys to swap outfits is just so you guys can make that game save. You're forcing the game save by doing that. You're forcing it to come up. Now, any particular time, while you're in free mode, that game save can happen anytime. It's just you guys don't notice it because it's in the bottom right corner. You're never looking down there. It can happen while you're fighting. It can happen while you're buying ammo. It can happen at any given time. That orange circle always pops up throughout the course of the game. However long you're playing GTA, you probably have like multiple game saves that pop up, but you never notice them. You don't have to do it, but that right there is just you forcing, forcing the game save to happen right when you get done buying face paints. That's all that is. That's all that is right there. Yes, you can buy them all. You can buy every last one. Just don't close the applic application while sitting in this chair, though. That's something else that not to do. Do not close your application while sitting in this chair. If you close your application while sitting in this chair, after you bought face paints, none of them will stick. Maybe like one or two might. Maybe one or two or three of them might stick. But do not close the application while sitting in this chair, bro. So as long as we get the save after we buy them, they'll stay there. Yes. Yes, you're good. Just make sure that little save pops up. You're good. Because I know all of you guys are worried 
you don't want to lose your face paints I get it I get it bro just follow what I'm telling you guys and you'll be good what's up GB I'm just drinking my hot cocoa simple as that man yo we just hit 40k did we hit 40k bro don't tell me that bro I know we was like six away from 40k it's not refreshing I can't see it we was like six away from 40k I'm broke after buying everything if you're broke after buying everything slasher condemned in the new alien survivor modes are double money and RP double money and RP if you are broke jump into those modes and play those all day if you need to get your money back don't be scared man everything that I'm telling you will stick bro these are face paints that I bought last year man these are face paints that I bought last year last year <laughs> judo chop <laughs> these are all face paints that I bought last year man so do not be scared guys do not be scared at all I wanted to keep this under 10 minutes, bro, but it's been 26 minutes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've been watching you for a long time. What's up, Clips? What hairstyle would I use if I didn't have the mullet? Um, Hairstyle I'd use if I didn't have the mullet, bro. To be honest with you, I'll probably use this surfer dude, bro. I'll use surfer dude if I didn't have the mullet. Surfer dude. I use the hipster. I'll use the. Uh, I never put on the dreads, man. Where is it? I'll use this other hipster too. Believe it or not, bro. You wanna know something funny, bro? Before I used to rock the mullet, guys. Before I used to rock the mullet, I used to rock the classic, um, classic cornrows. <laughs> this was my hairstyle, man. Back in the day, before the mullet came out, bro. I used to rock this. That was me. Before the mullet. <laughs> How long are the face paints going to be in game? Until like November 8th. How can you save the face paints? You remember them days? <laughs> Alright, so this is the last time I'm going to show this. And then I'm going to end the broadcast right there, guys. Because I just, I wanted to keep this short for you guys, man. That's all. So this is all you do. Remember when I had the cornrows? <laughs> I know, man. Cornrows were a classic, bro. All right, so this is all you do. Pretend that I bought five face paints. So all you do is get in the chair. You get in the chair. Imagine me just buying five. So I just bought five face paints, right? So the last one that I just bought, the fifth one that I just bought, right? I'm going to buy it. I'm going to hit circle and get out of the chair. Get out of the chair. Once I get out of the chair, bro, I'm going to open up my interaction menu. Open up the interaction menu. I'm going to go to Styles. And I'm going to go swap my outfit, bro. I'm going to swap my outfit. Now, once I swap my outfit, I'm going to close the interaction menu. And I'm going to wait for the orange circle to pop up in the bottom right corner. Once that orange circle pops up right there, that's the orange circle right there. That is a save icon. And that is it. That is it, bro. That is a guaranteed save. Basically letting me know that I don't have anything to worry about. Simple as that. So that is it, man. That's how you save Halloween face paints, bro. If you guys are scared. Only do that if you guys are scared. If you guys are not worried about it, if you guys don't care, you're not worried, you're not concerned, all you got to do, all you got to do is just get in the chair and buy every last one. Get in the chair and buy every last one. Leave the barbershop, just buy some ammo, and that orange circle will pop up for you while you're fighting. It's just that, me doing that right there is just forcing the game save to happen right then and there when I want it to. That's all that is. That's all you do. Now, somebody asked me about the mask that I have on. I got to go down to the mask shop, bro, unfortunately. Oh, no, I can go to the clothing store and do it. I can show you. I can show you at the clothing store since I already own it. I think I can show you at the clothing store. No, I can't. I don't think I can show you at the clothing store. I don't think that one has a dressing room. Yeah, they have to have a dressing room for me to show you. All right, we're going to go down to the mask shop. We're going down to the beach. 
I'm sorry if you guys are getting dizzy. My controller still has stick drift, man. I gotta go pick it up today. My new one. I was trying to order one online. So we're going down to the mash shop. Going down to the mash shop, guys. I'm sorry for the drive, but we're going there. I should have hit the clothing store too, man. Also, man, a lot of you guys are asking me why the special shirts are not in game. Let's make a quick stop. I'm sorry, I got to do a quick detour. A lot of you guys are asking me about the Halloween t-shirts, Halloween clothing. Um, there is no Halloween clothing. There's only Halloween t-shirts. Some of you guys saying you don't have them, and that could be true. That could be true. Um, to see where they're located, if you guys don't have them, it's not my fault. Blame Rockstar because they release this stuff early. You want to go to Special Tops. When you sign in today, you're going to get these two. This is what you get for signing in. You can't see the other one for some odd reason, but it's showing that one. It says I have on two shirts. That's stupid. <laughs> That's stupid. Let's swap my outfit really quickly. All right, let's go. Special tops. Special tops. When you get on GTA Online, you're gonna get a notification for these particular two right here. You're gonna get these two shirts just for signing in today. So maybe they might give us more shirts tomorrow. I'm not too sure. Just gotta, we just gotta wait and see. So right here, if you scroll down to movies and special tops, these are the Halloween shirts. Part, see as you see, Halloween surprise items owned. Halloween surprise. I own these mainly because I got a modded account. So most of you guys that got modded accounts, you should already have. If you got all unlocks on your modded accounts, you should already have these. If you guys got modded accounts, if you don't, then chances are you won't have them unless you got them last year or the year before just from signing in on GTA. So what Rockstar used to do, what's up, Big Ton? What Rockstar used to do is this: they used to basically a couple of days before Halloween. You will sign in on those particular days and you'll be unlocking these particular shirts. You'll be unlocking these particular shirts. And then the day of Halloween, they'll give you like an exclusive one. But unfortunately, they didn't do that this year because, you know, Halloween actually landed on Halloween this year. The Halloween update actually came on Halloween this year. This was the first time it ever happened. So maybe they might give out these shirts tomorrow. I'm not too sure. I don't know. I'll be checking to find out. But these are the Halloween shirts. There's nothing at the counter. How do you save the face paints? Yo, go back, go back a couple of seconds, bro. Rewind the screen back into like a, a good two minutes when you see me sitting in a chair, buddy. I just explained it. I just explained it, bro, because I'm not at the shop right now. But I can tell you, get in the chair, buy a few face paints, get out of the chair, open up your interaction menu, change your outfit, close your interaction menu, look down in the bottom right corner, wait for the Halloween face paint, wait for the save icon, the orange save icon to pop up. Once that pops up, then you will know that the face paints are saved. Simple. That's all you do. All right. All right, so somebody asked me about the mass. Where is it? Somebody asked me about these masks right here. Those masks that I got on. These masks are located here. They are part of the arena. This is how you get them, but you gotta buy them. I thought you guys knew this. Look at the taco. <laughs> All right, so these are the masks. The masks that I got on, saved on my outfit right now that I have on, these are these particular masks right here that you see. These are where you come down here and get them. They're part of the arena war. So you can come down and purchase these particular masks right here. They're cool. They're cool looking, especially if you're trying to make an apocalypse outfit. They're pretty cool. You want to reenact Leatherface for Halloween? You know, you can definitely do that. This is why I came to get these masks. What's up, Free? How's it going? Free, go back like three minutes within the screen, bro. You will see it. Go back. Just rewind it back in like for like three minutes, bro. And you will see. I was just telling people how to save it, bro. I was sitting in a chair and everything. So, the LOC bike, yeah, the LOC bike is pretty nice. Halloween mask. A lot of you guys are getting confused about Halloween mask because you're coming down here and you're expecting it to say Halloween mask. It's not going to say Halloween mask. All the Halloween masks are located in this section right here, right here for monsters. This is where the Halloween masks are located. You want to click in this and you just want to scroll down. 
you're going to see all the little scary masks that we got over the years that you already know bought these are the Halloween masks right here as you can see I didn't buy these three <laughs> I don't think I bought these three on any account I feel like the devil mask was just stupid to be honest, I feel like all of them are stupid anyways because if you got Halloween face paints you don't need to rock a Halloween mask just to be honest with you unless you're buying the pumpkin mask of course then okay that makes sense but these are the Halloween masks as you guys can see this is where they are this is what they look like for those of you guys that did not know this is where they at I know I know it's a disappointment autotune I know man but Rockstar was not giving us anything new It was not giving us anything new at all. You know what doesn't make any sense? We got a devil mask right here, right? We got a devil mask right here for Halloween. Now check this out. And check this out. We're going to scroll up. Look what they did differently. They gave us another devil mask with just a goatee and teeth. What's different about that one? And hair. <laughs> teeth and hair, bro. Teeth, hair, and eyebrows, bro. Nothing different about that, as you guys can see. Well, yeah, this one has teeth, too. Just It has hair, eyebrows, and a goatee. That's weird. That's weird in my opinion. That's stupid. But these are the Halloween masks. They're nothing special. This is what Rockstar gave you. This is how you find them. If you want to buy them just to collect them because you're a collector, then do that. Alright. So. New four masks at the casino. They're not new, bro. Those masks, they're part of the casino, bro. They're not Halloween related. They're casino masks. They're not Halloween related, bro. They're a part of the casino DLC, bro. They just gave them to us for the, for the casino. They're not Halloween themed. I'll go down there and show you. But they're definitely not Halloween themed. Alright, so this is the last time we're going to show you how to save face paints. The last time, and then we're going to make our way back to the casino. What's up, Clips? This is the last time. So you want to come to face paints. You want to buy a few of them or you want to buy them all. You want to buy four, five, six, seven, or eight. However many you want to buy is up to you. So once you buy them, right, we're going to put on one. So just picture me. Just imagine that I just bought five. We're going to put it back on. So buy the face paint. Once she's done making you look pretty for Halloween, right, get out of the chair. That's the same lady. She has like multiple triplets around the city. Get out of the chair. Open up your interaction menu. Open up your interaction menu. Go to styles. Swap your outfit. Swap your outfit. Oh crap. That's the wrong one. I'm sorry. That's the wrong one. Swap your outfit. Let's not put on prospect. That's going to make the duffel bag. Come on. Swap your outfit from there. Wait for the save icon to pop up in the bottom right corner. We're going to wait for the save icon. There's the save icon right there. That means that it's saved. Simple as that. That's all you do. That's my icon. That's a beer hat that I got on for those of you guys that asked earlier. That's all you do. Oh, this is going to be a short screen, bro. Because I'm going to come back later on with, like, Slasher. Just to let you guys know, man. I'm going to be, like, hosting, like, Slasher modes if you guys want to join me on another account. Well, I'm going to play Slasher on that account, so you guys are more than welcome to join me. We're going to have some fun, play Slasher, make some money, whatever you guys. So, just to let you guys know that if you didn't know. So, I'll be coming back with another stream, and we'll be doing that. Playing all the double money in RP Slasher modes for like an hour. I'm going to make it like into a playlist. How do you get the beer hat? DM glitch, bro, because you can't, you can't get it in game. I'll make a quick stop really quick, bro. Quick stop show you the beer hats you can't get the beer hats before you got to do the well now you got to do the dm glitch and probably get it hopefully you'll get it with a dm glitch but before rockstar used to have these events in store and um online in free mode where they'll drop like supply drops and those supply drops will have like random beer hats in them i'll show you the beer hats now where's the beer hats This should be in special. There we go. Special hats. Alright, here we go. Special hats. These are the beer hats, bro. These are the beer hats right here. 
if you got a modded account most of you guys should have these already but if you got the legit accounts the only way you was able to get them back in the day was to go after the supply drops that happened in free roam that was the only way to get them you would have to fight everybody and their mom and the whole entire server just to get them but rockstar doesn't do that anymore for some odd reason i don't know why they stopped giving out the beer hats which is stupid they might release this one on the 4th of july yeah this one they made this one part of the 4th of july for some odd reason looks like all of them are part of the 4th of july now yeah looks like all of them are part of the 4th of july now so 4th of july you'll be able to get them if they bring them back you guys get lucky with that independence day special but back in the day before the 4th of July, you'd have to earn them through like crate drops. Even around that time too. Special crate drops that used to happen around certain like DLC times. So, hopefully Rockstar bring them back where you guys can buy them. But if you don't want to wait, then you can do the DM glitch to get them. What's up, Easy? <laughs> bro. <laughs> What's up, Easy? I'm loaded, bro. I play a lot of heist, man. A lot of heist, man. <laughs> a lot of heist, bro. Alright, so we'll go down here. We'll go down to the freaking mash shop. Yeah, this this account's modded, bro. But easy, it's double money and RP in the game right now, bro, if you're trying to make some money, bro. I don't know if you want to waste your time doing that, but it's double money and RP in the condemn mode. The adversary mode is called condemn and slasher. And then um, survival, there's a new alien survivor mode that's in game right now that Madrazo will send you a text, which is also double money in RP. Can you actually lose your face paints? Yeah, if you don't buy them. So make sure you buy them. You can. So many people have lost their face paints because they thought that they bought them. You hear what I'm saying? So make sure you buy every last one. Buy every last one or buy only the ones that you like. All right, we're going down here. All right, a lot of you guys keep saying that there's new match down here. Like we went over this this morning, early this morning, but we went over this with people. It's not, it's not new. They're just like casino masks, bro. That's all they are. How much for a modded account? I don't have any for sale, bro. Nah, I ain't trying to do all that. <laughs> I know some people who have them. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's the only way, bro. Or you can do dupe glitches, man. You can sell some dupe, duplicated cars. It's entirely up to you. All right, so we're going to go down here. A lot of you guys saw the little skeleton with the hat mask over here that people were showcasing. These are casinos, bro. They're not Halloween related, bro. They're part of the casino and resort. They're not Halloween themed. Even though you can, you can rock it for Halloween. I'm not saying that you can't, but yeah. <laughs> not saying that you can't, man. It's up to you if you want to. It's really cool, bro. Nice hat. Appreciate that, man. Your boy minutes. Oh my God! Just go back and <laughs> please answer me. I want to play this game and help you. I don't. I don't, <laughs> I don't need help, buddy. But thank you, though. Thank you for the offer. Do I have someone that sells them? I'm trying to get one. I'll ask around. Easy. I got a couple friends that sometimes they get rid of their accounts because they no longer want to play GTA anymore. I'll ask a couple of them. I'll hit a few of them up and I'll let you know. I'll send you. A, I'll send you a DM on Twitter. I'll ask a couple friends. But yo, so these are the face paints, right? Well, not me. These are the masks that you guys are talking about, Halloween theme. These are not Halloween theme. Even though they look Halloween because they got on the top hat with the skeleton old thing. And I get it. I get it. But no. These are not Halloween. They're just masks that are going to always come back in the casino. Just to let you guys know. What's up, Thomas? What's up, Ruben? I don't have any for sale at the moment, man. My accounts, I don't sell, bro. I don't sell my accounts. My accounts are just too dear to me, but if I ever start to sell them, I'll let you guys know, man. So, yo, that 
that's pretty much it, man. I just want to walk you guys through that stuff, let you guys know, do a little Q&A, answer more questions for you guys that was dedicated towards that, because I know a lot of you guys did not know certain things, and a lot of you guys were confused about certain stuff. So hopefully I was able to make you guys understand this stuff a little bit better. Let's see. What's up, Drippy Goat? You're welcome, bro. Yeah, what what our tunes say to you? Hit me up ASAP. Thanks for the. I right, easy. I got you, bro. I'll let you know. What do auto tune say? Read the chat above. Our face paints out. Yes, face paints are out. I don't think I have anything in this freaking garage. Yes, face paints are out, guys. Let's see. You have no money. If you have no money, guys, if you have no money, you need to do this. Go to jobs, go to play jobs, go to Rockstar Created, scroll down to adversary mode, scroll down to the adversary mode, scroll down through here. We're looking for condemn. This job right here, this adversary mode right now is double money in RP, so you should be playing these all day. All day, you should be playing those all day. They're double money in RP. And if you scroll down all the way some all the way again to slasher, we're gonna continue to scroll. We gotta get all the way down here, man. It's all the way at the bottom. We're trying to get to the S's, man. Alright, so now we're at Slasher. Slasher is double money in RP too. A lot of people are going to be playing these modes all day. So soon you launch GTA, you're going to get a notification. Not a notification. You know you get that option to press R1 to play the adversary mode. You got R1 to press play the adversary mode. You got X for story mode and then square for online. That stuff right there that you see in the bottom right corner when you launch the GTA app, it pops up right there at the loading screens. Um, click R1 and it's going to automatically take you into the double money in RP mode. You guys should do that. That's what you should be doing. There's also a new survival mode that they got. I don't think I have it here. Oh, here we go. I do have it. There we go. These are the new survival modes right here. New survival modes right here. Double money in RP. These are the alien survival modes. You're going to dress up as an alien and you're going to shoot civilians. Well, human people. Yeah. All life forms must die. All that good stuff. <laughs> so, yo, this is double money, right? Double money in RP too. I'm not too sure if it's going to pop up for you guys like this. I know earlier on one of my um, legit accounts, it did not pop up like that. Well, no, that account was modded, actually. It didn't pop up for me here. I had to wait till I get the alert. So, yo, this is Double Money in RP. This will let you guys know. So, I'm doing good, Drip. How you doing, buddy? All right, I'm going to go. Bye, brothers. All right, Norway. See you later, buddy. So, yo, that is it, man. That is it. That is it. That's it for today. That's everything, guys. That's all the stuff that you guys need to know, man. There's nothing more to know. There's nothing more. Hopefully, I was able to help you guys. We hit 40K. Bro, we hit 40K, bro. Let me refresh, bro. Don't tell me that, bro. Yo, we hit 40K. Yo, we hit 40K, dude. We hit the 40K. <laughs> What's up, Bear? How's it going? Yo, we hit that 40k. This is like the most realistic car ever on GTA, bro. We hit 40k, man. Shout out to you guys. I appreciate everybody that helped me get to that milestone, man. Hopefully soon we'll hit 50k. We can see it in the near future, man. 50k definitely, bro. We're going to try to hit it before the end of the year. Hopefully, man. Yo, <laughs> we definitely did it, man. It popped up. I know we was like six away from 40k, bro. It was like six away, but we did it. So you guys are awesome, man. I appreciate you guys. Appreciate each and every one of you, man. I love you. By the way, I do play other games other than just GTA, just to let you guys know that, man. If you didn't know, I do play other games on the channel. And le like I said, later on today, I'm going to come back with some slasher mode. We're going to do like a playlist with slasher and condemn since it's dub money and RP. And we're going to play that for like an hour and just have some fun with that. So this is Badger signing out, man. I love each and every one of you guys. Be breezy. I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next one. But this car is sick, bro. Look at it, dude. Look at it, man.